Gopi and Anthony present E Rocktober. Oh, E Rocktober. Let's just go home. Oh, we might have to start E Rocktober. <laughs> nothing. And then he continues. <laughs> Poor E Rock. According to Scott from Hot Pog, E Rocktober uh, featuring more E Rock hoopla than any other station in America. I started, I kicked off E Rocktober today. You did? I was 20 minutes late to work. There you go. All right. I started E Rocktober. We got the uh, how late was Xerox sweeper today? Oh, Eric forgot to put that one out. I guess. Oh well, he 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 didn't get here on time and and didn't put it in. Oh okay. <laughs> he was too late to put in the Xerox late sweeper. <laughs> well, according to Scott from Hot Pog, <laughs> you got Xerox featuring more Xerox hoopla than any other station in America. Are you a fan of Mayo being picked on by coworkers and sleeping in late? Then you'll love E Rocktober. <laughs> e Rocktober. <laughs> we have to have an E Rocktober sweeper now. Uh, other people uh, here saying during COVID, you're all allowed to gain 30 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Opie and Anthony E Rock Clock Watch. Is E Rock late again? Maybe his battery died. <laughs> I hear traffic was awful. <laughs> what time did E Rock get in today? Ah, not too bad today. 14 minutes late. 14 minutes. That's not too bad. That's all right. I love that. Maybe his alarm clock didn't go off. Didn't go off. <laughs> that voice is hilarious. He was 14 minutes late today? Yeah. That's about average. Yes. What? <laughs> it gets worse than that. Usually. Where, where, what? What? Where are you living these days? Are you living in Cleveland? Are you? Are where you are like you? commuting from Cleveland? Like you don't have to say exactly. Just like where is it? Manhattan or Queens or Jersey? Or, or well, I, I use this. The C came out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I did the the F word. Yeah. And I always say once you hit the C, ah, there's really no no return. So they might have dumped out of that. Oh, all right. Well. Um, we you missed the fact that he said he lives in Jersey. Oh, you live in Jersey. Yeah. Is it um, like far for you to get from where you live in Jersey to the the tunnel or the bridge or whatever you take? Not too far, no. No. So it's pretty much an easy drive in. <laughs> okay, just checking. Why won't you come in on time, Iraq? I don't know. How late were you today? I. You know that any other job would have fired you for being late as as much as you've been late. And I've actually talked to you about it, and now you just make me look silly. I don't care personally because I used to be late to my regular job when I worked for a living uh, every day, and I couldn't understand why my boss would get mad at me because I would go, hey, as long as the job gets done, this isn't go work- screw. This isn't working for a living. I know. You should want to be here, like, early. Ah. <laughs> you know how many people listening right now would love to be in our position? I woke up late, and I looked down at my speedometer as I was driving at one point, I was doing 94 miles an hour in an Escalade, <laughs> which is just a rolling boulder. It's like a, the Indiana Jones boulder. Why did you not go that fast? <laughs> because I had to come in. See, I wanted. I noticed I was late, and I, I wanted to get in. Why don't you just be late and, as opposed to doing 94 miles an hour? Why and why did you not do that? See, I, I'm looking I at it differently. Right. You, you hit 94, why? You got to tap out at 100. You're that close. I looked down and saw 94. There were some times I believe I was going faster. Right, That's the good. only thing I looked at. All right, I'm proud of you. You can make up a lot of room by uh, by Shea Stadium, by that turn over there, by hitting the right lane, by the way, if you're listening. Yeah. Right lane, not the left. Everyone clears out of that right lane. Well, there won't be any game traffic. <laughs> <laughs> well, not to worry about that. <laughs> Everybody. I <laughs> get it, Mitch Saka. <laughs> <laughs> Crying kids. Uh, Playing golf. I know golf jokes all day for me. <laughs> wow. It's a new streak. Oh. Oh. Uh, Rock, what's the answer for New Wave Tuesday? It's called Boys Don't Cry. No, that's the band. No, yeah, that's the band. Uh, <laughs> see, you're such an idiot. <laughs> Stupid E-Rock. That, that's the band. No. Yes, that's the band. <laughs> what was that? You, make you tried it so easy You tried us. sneaking out of that. Right. It's I Want to Be a Cowboy by Boys Don't Cry. 
Okay. Oh, oh, E-Rock. By the way, this is the second day of E-Rocktober. E-Rocktober. <laughs> God bless E-Rocktober. In effect. <laughs> All right. right. Incompetence for the entire month. All right. Stupidity and excuses. I didn't know it was supposed to what? It's supposed to be easy. Not necessarily easy, but... And it's supposed. You, you forgot the D at the end of that. Zilch. You no D using zilch. <laughs> he leaves the last D off for donut. <laughs> Do like Metro of Love or something. <laughs> Leave off the last D for dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> it is E-Rocktober. E-Rocktober. Leave off the last D for don't get there on time. <laughs> You do realize this whole month is nothing but E-Rock attention, right? Leave off the last D for Dumpy. <laughs> da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da. E-Rock song. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. <laughs> Leave off the last D for Down syndrome. What's up, Max? Good morning, fellas. Hey. I'm gonna say leave off the last D for diet. For <laughs> it's Iraqtober, so it's uh, open season. I know with diet that'd be the leave off the last D for don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's a. Uh, <laughs> I love how Jimmy like. It's like sorry. Doesn't feel good about it. I'm sorry, Eric. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. just. I'm just. No it, offense. I'm just being part of E Rocktober. I'm just being nutty. I mean, Eric's a very sensitive guy. He's yeah, he's not a he's not a punching bag. I see him, fetal position, weeping by the end of Rocktober. Oh no, E Rocktober. <laughs> exactly. E Rock. What's the definition of a bromance? You're over there. You got it on the Urban Dictionary. It says it uh, describes the complicated love and affection shared by two straight males. Can you not straight. read it in radio voice? Yeah. Describes the uh, 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 juice rain mail. <laughs> hi, hi. Uh, it's Iraqtober. <laughs> I'm going to describe to you a bromance. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Normally, two straight men. <laughs> What's the definition? Describes the. Describes. <laughs> he's barely doing it, though. Give the guy a break. I don't care. I'll make it sound like he's doing it to the hilt. Go ahead, you rock. Describes the complicated, Describes complicated affection shared by affection two shared males. by two straight males. <laughs> Erocktober on Erocktober rock. Radio. Erocktober. When are we going to get our sweepers for Erocktober? <sighs> you right. know, I want to be a DJ. Do you, Erock? No. Not anymore. No. <laughs> he did have dreams, but did not anymore. Did you want to be a disc jockey at one point? I was at one point. Ooh, way to straighten me out. Yeah, bring in your uh, your air checks for E-Rocktober. It's We're all gonna... E-Rock all the time. E-Rock around the clock. Can you bring in an air check <laughs> yeah. tomorrow for right. E-Rocktober? All right. Uh, uh... <laughs> Eric, what's vociferously? Yeah. Uh, crying out noisily, clamorous. Is there more? Uh, characterized by or uttered with, uh... Go uh, ahead, you can do it. Sound it out. Voice-a-fer... Voice... voice you as... I, you're, you're... I'm almost... voice i I'm, I'm, I'm actually... You're so dumb, I'm afraid for you. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna make it to the end of October with this year October, man. Okay, try it again. Truth number two. Yeah. All right. Characterized by or uttered with... <laughs> vociferation. <laughs> no, vociferation. Vociferation. Exactly. It's when you mumble through words and use the wrong stuff. Uh, I didn't do that right either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to start a new segment uh, called What the F. I think it's kind of cool. What the F? Yeah, what the F. And what will that entail? Just, you know, things that make you go, what the F? What the F? Yeah. All right. What the F is with orange artificial flavoring? Huh. It never tastes bad. It always tastes like orange, no matter what product or company uses it. <laughs> orange tastes like orange. What the F? It's true. Yeah. Huh. What the F is with other artificial flavors? Oh. Grape tastes like it. Grape tastes like ass. 
Hmm. Unless it's in an ice pop where it tastes extremely sweet and sugary. Whew. Lime burns when you drink it. Cherry tastes like bad cough syrup. All the rest of artificial flavors naturally blow. What the F? What the F? What? What is this? This is kind of like Carlin, but without any good writing or comedic <laughs> timing. No. Why are you making fun of my writing? No, no disrespect. What artificial the? Artificial flavors. What the F? Why do commercials on the radio or TV about people being illiterate always say the phone number and then spell it out? What the F? Hello? These people you want to call Hello. can't Hello? read? Hello? Is it a What you're saying, Hello? much less spell it. What the F? Wait, wait. Hello is not actually written out. It, no. Don't tell me that there's a, like, hello. What the F? Why do commercials on the radio or TV about people being illiterate always say the phone number and then spell it out? Hello? These people you want to call can't read what you're saying, much less spell it. Is this? What the F? Is this called what the F or hello? It's called what the F. Is there an Earth to whoever? Like, do they do that? <laughs> Earth to Bob. Or how about Newsflash Dash? Like, Newsflash with a hyphen F. Yeah, yeah. Newsflash. Someone wants to guess the sound already. Uh, Brooklyn Ace, what's up? What's up, guys? Is hey. that E-Rock eating breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> it is e rocked over. Oh, no? Oh, sorry. By the way, by the way um, did this turn into Pot Talk Monday all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, I know. We're all over the place. But, uh, what the F? We're very excited because we just uh, discovered something that's going to really help e rock I don't... I... I uh, I'm going to say right now, on October 2nd, that e rock doesn't survive e rock <laughs> Yeah, it's so early... And there's been so much abuse hurled his way for Erochtober. We will throw a party for you, uh, Erock, if you survive Erochtober. I think he'll have a mental breakdown <laughs> yes. uh, and end up running out of the studio at some point in tears. I, I sincerely think that's going to happen. That's not uncommon, though. Eric's a sensitive boy. I'm he is sensitive. He, Eric cries relatively easily. He's a, he's a sweet, sensitive, emotional kid. Erock, are you enjoying the uh, what the F bit? Oh, thoroughly, yes. <laughs> and by the way, 80s legend from Maine, he goes, what the F is up with this dumbass segment? Wake me up when it's over. Zzz. Did he put Z's? I love the Z's. Or did he put the big yawn? Sometimes with this show, you got to wait for it. Wait yep. for it. Wait for it. If you listen to this program and you hear us doing a segment that you really think is completely out of character and lame, and stupid. Perhaps there's a reason for it. Right. You gotta like hang out for the the payoff. You can't just take everything from this show at face value. Do you honestly think we would be doing this what the f bit? So just just relax. I mean, aside from the obvious funny like observational. <laughs> oh well, that's what I meant. You know, it's hysterical. It's what you're, uh, you're poking your head up over. What there. the f is with spaghettios? What's the deal? What's the deal with the sauce? Three versions of SpaghettiOs, plain hot dogs, and meatballs. All three have different sauce. He Pla no. Plain's a bit on the bland side and thin in texture. Hot dogs is very, very in capital letters, thin but mildly spicy. Meatballs is this thick, rich sauce which fills you up before you even finish the can. Make a note of it. What the f? What the f? I hate things that uh, are all about the subject of food. Yeah. What the fat, this should be what? called. <laughs> what the fat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what, what, what? Oh, okay. Oh, they've all been about some type of food. Oh, that's why I don't have that one. It's amazing. What the F is a Pokemon? <laughs> Want to catch my pocket monster? Maybe it will Pikachu. Oh, what the oh, F? Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. I, I got, I got, I got to put my coat on. <laughs> that, it will Pikachu? Pikachu. Well, the pocket, oh, pocket monster and Pikachu are both characters. See, you see, a Pokemon mm -hmm. is a pocket monster. Yeah. And Pikachu is a Pokemon. So, Pocket Monster will Pikachu. 
It's a play on words is what it is. Cool. What the F? What the F is with the video for the Christina Aguilera song, What a Girl Wants? Notice the set? It was taken from the 80s video for the Paul Abdul song, Cold Hearted Snake. What the F? What fat girl wrote this? <laughs> Holy <laughs> No, Jesus. I don't know. Did you? Who noticed that? <laughs> what type of pudgy homo would notice that? Well, here's the big reveal. In honor of e October. e October, everybody. The boys found one of e old websites. Yes. Good old pseudo radio, right, e -Rock? Yep. <laughs> oh, man, is he not in a good place. Wait, when did you realize that there was something you had written? When it was what the F or what? <sighs> yeah, exactly when did it hit you like, oh, my God, they found this. Uh, when I went into the office to try to get water and they were all covering up really fast whatever it is they had. <laughs> We had, a, we had a pop up. Hold on, we had a pop up, just a, a like a blank Google screen, and just going, we're just looking at the internet. Yeah. Uh, you know, the internet, <laughs> Google's we're googling. Listen, we're running out. Googling. Of, we're running out of show. We wanted to play. What did we learn on the Opie and Anthony show? But unfortunately, we're running out of. Uh, what the f? Running out of show. I hate and that. We got the E Rock Tober sweeper. It's in my hands. E Rock Tober. Well, all the rock stations do Rocktober. Yeah, anyone can do that. Which we think is completely ridiculous. Not everyone has a complete buffoon like E-Rock, though. Right. Oh, sorry. No offense. So it's our little twist on uh, Rocktober. It's E-Rocktober. It's E-Rocktober. E-Rocktober. <laughs> E-Rocktober. <laughs> Stupid E-Rock. <laughs> We pointed a laugh at you. Hung out to dry. E-Rocktober. Oh, God. E rock and roll radio. Thank you, Eric, for totally ruining uh, the show, taking us right out of it. I bring nothing to the table. <laughs> it's E-Rocktober, so it's uh, open season. Oh, E-Rocktober. Uh, E-Rock. E-Rocktober. E-Rock has nothing. <laughs> this is not going to end well. Oh, E-Rock. E Rocktober. E Rocktober. Oh, E Rocktober. Let's just go home. Jumping. Um, I was having some uh, bathroom problems today and through last night. I'm the OB and Anthony Show. <laughs> so obnoxious. Thank you, Tim. E Rock, you hanging in there for E Rocktober? Mm -hmm. You want to do a what the F for everybody from your old website? Awesome. People are suggesting that you should read the what the F's, not I me. I agree. I agree. I don't. Well, you have to put the mic so people the audience yeah, can hear you. Yeah, E-Rock, we're celebrating you all month, at least talking to a microphone. All right, so celebrate me. You guys read it then. I think the boss said you should read it. How about, uh, who wants to read the What the F's today? Jimmy, you want to read the What the F? What the I'd F's. I'd love to. All right, this is from uh, E-Rock's old website. It is E-Rocktober, and he did a little segment called What the F on his website. Pseudo Radio, right? Yeah. Right, E-Rock? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny. What the F is with Billy Crystal's voice? He sounds damn close to Bert from Sesame Street. And here's the key. And this you can't and this is why no one laughed. Because you can't enjoy it the way I can reading it. Because there's a, a single quote around Sesame Street. Like not quotes, but the one quote. Right. As opposed to just writing Sesame Street. Yeah, why wouldn't you just You gotta end the what the F's with with a what the F. What the F? The F. You have to, like, you know, punctuate it. What the F? What the F is with the double standards and age restriction? Why can you be 18 and strip in a bar that only allows you in if you're over 21? 23 or 25 in some places? Exclamation point. <laughs> it's the same theory as being 18 and allowed to 10 bar, yet you have to be 21 to purchase it. It. <laughs> oh. Also... Why can't you be 18 to die for your country? Uh, oh, not no, this not one. That not also, this gag. Why can you be 18 to die for your country in military service? Period. No question mark. Also, why can Oh, yeah. You can go to war and kill someone, but God damn it, don't let them see you drinking a bud. And bud is not capitalized. So that would imply that a bud is your friend. <laughs> yeah. So you were apparently drinking your friend on the side and didn't want anyone to see it. Well, yeah. What the F? <laughs> Erock's oh. writing, these weren't for comedy. We know that. They what? These were for some thoughts you had in your head, right, Erock? 
This is part of something I did for college. Okay, good. Here's something you do for radio. Read what? Oh, uh, yeah, read one. Read it. Something on, you Eric. did for college. Iraq, hey, read a, a what the F. That's good in college, though. When you ask a question, don't put a question mark. That must have helped. Yeah. And start with what the F and end uh, with what the F. Yeah. It is October. What the F is with the English language? Why do we separate sentences with a punctuation mark with a name that means half-assed? Maybe that's because most of us write... We do. Ah, oh, this really sucks. <laughs> no, you can't say that. Because there was a time you thought this was brilliant. No, I wouldn't say that. But maybe that's because when most of us write, we do it that way. What the F? I don't know what you mean by that. What does that mean? Why do we use punctuation marks? Yeah, half assed, semicolon. Because, so it's a semicolon. Yeah. I do hate the semicolon, by the way, so I, you I might have a the point. There's very few things in life I enjoy as much as the semicolon. <laughs> the semicolon is a great thing. The semicolon separates sentences, but it's better than a comma. Yeah. I would never even know where to use a semicolon. I think I overuse it, actually. Do you? Yes. Hmm. All right. How about another one? Um, what the F? What the F? Is with these macho jock a holes who call me chief or boss as a way of getting my attention. Since when am I appointed a head of a department or promoted to management? No one filled. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And he just blurted out, "Never." Never. In the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! All right, go back. He's never gonna make it to the end of the. I'll be fine. Never. Go, ahead, go back. Uh, go back there. You're uh, October. Go ahead, guy. Go back. From the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, please. Thank you, Sam. What the F is with these macho jock a-holes who call me chief or boss as a way of getting my attention? Since when was I appointed head of a department or promoted to management? No one filled me in on that one, and Lord knows my paycheck sure doesn't show it. Lord Just say excuse me there, sport. What the F? Lord knows? Lord knows. What are you, a 50-year-old black woman? From Lord Florida? knows. Lord have mercy. We went through some hard times. Lord knows. Uh, and wow. By the way, I don't think macho jocks were calling you chief or boss. No. Was, hey, stupid, and hey, fatso. Yeah. No, actually, they weren't even noticing him. Just passing by in the hallway. Mm -hmm. Poor little E-Rock, hoping that they'd <laughs> even notice. We noticed him. This is a wee crap, yeah. Chief. Yeah. You noticed them, boss. I'm proud of the E-Rock hire. Yeah? Yes. He's giving us great radio. Right. Well, I won't doubt that. But that said, <laughs> you're not athletic. You got one more there, E-Rock? Uh, what the F is with public restrooms? You're in the stall, and you notice that there is a, a foot sliding under. <laughs> <laughs> tap, tap, tapping. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh, what the F is with public restrooms? You're in the stall and you notice that there is a one-foot gap from the floor to the door. Not to mention the two-inch gap from the door's edges to the walls. Why not just remove it all together and let everyone see what I'm doing? Like I'm in effing prison. It will also save prison. me time... <laughs> Ugh, like I'm in effing prison. <laughs> I'm in prison. <laughs> What's the <F's? laughs> It will also save me the time kicking the three-year-old in the head who keeps peeking under the door to see what's going on while he's in the same booth with his dad who's taking a leak. All I right, wait a minute. Three -year -olds. It's not a three-year-old. Are in the booth and who was, who was actually peeking at Iraq? E you you were the little kid exactly. in the booth, weren't you? No, sure. I was not. What the f? There was actually a three year old peeking from underneath. Yeah, he probably wanted to know why there were four feet in your stall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that doesn't look right. Is there an octopus using that bathroom? <laughs> he's got two feet facing one way, two feet facing the other way, and he's making moaning noises. <laughs> He's making this sound. <laughs> All right, finish. Continue. So you got the three-year-old peeking in. That was it. What the f? What the f? Did that really happen to you? Yeah. 
Can we have one more, please? I, I'm, Real life I'm, I'm, story. I'm hungry for this. I know. I can't get enough. What the f? Well, you, you've already more you, highlighted. So. Well, oh, good. Go to the ones that aren't highlighted. They're probably equally awful. Someone is suggesting. Stephen S. from Bayshore. Mm. Hey, hope you guys are beating up B Rock so badly. I think you're going to have to bring in some Spuds Buckley audio to bounce things out. Mm. I will. I will. Uh, I will do this for you, E Rock. If you make it to the end of E Rocktober, I will bring in some really, really, really bad, embarrassing stuff from my career. I got a CQ one hundred and two air check. But, but you're my hero. I don't want that to happen. And I think everyone else should bring in something embarrassing if E Rock makes it to the end of E Rocktober. That's how we'll celebrate the last day of E Rocktober. Go ahead, sweetie. One what more. do you think? I agree. Sure. All right. Go ahead. One more what the F. Uh, what the F is with collect calling. Do rock stars usually... No, sorry. Do rock stars really use 1-800-COLLECT uh, when calling home? According to the commercials, they do. You would think they would have enough money for a pay phone or a cell phone, wouldn't you? Or Oh, wait. I lost it. You would think they would have enough money for a payphone, wouldn't you? Or at least a cell phone. <laughs> Hell, those have... <laughs> Thanks. Hell, those have free long distance and weekends. Yourself? What the F? Wait, hell, those have what? Hell! Hell. Oh. He's, trying, he's trying to be like a regular yeah, you're really, guy on paper. You're not, you're yeah. not a regular guy. You get to read that end part again. Yeah. I don't want to rob you of, Take of, it the, from hell. of the good point that it deserved. Hell. <laughs> Hell, those have free long distance. <sighs> you don't know how to speak. It, it, you, hell, hell, those don't have. Wait, no. Hell. Those have. Hell. I, I don't get the sentence. He's really trying to say, hell, those have free long distance and rajiji. <laughs> 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 Give me the line, Ira. Hell, those have free long distance nights and weekends. What the F? Oh, okay. Uh, we got a, uh, a what the F coming in from Eric N. What the F? How come I get winded when I bend over to tie my shoes? What the F? <laughs> I, I can't get enough, by the way, of what the F. <laughs> I love what the F. It's, are there more of those anywhere? Are that, oh, there's, there's well, what, pages we, of them. We, we, we pages. Yeah, we'll have more as the month goes on here. John, you, and I, I've heard tell of people who have had uh, sexual intercourse on certain pieces of furniture in this very uh, place, like the on office, the new stuff, the office. No, no, not on the new stuff yet. Could the, could the but that's what I'm talking about. Leave the new stuff alone for a while. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention any names, but let's just say. Remember, well, go ahead. A month might be named after him. <laughs> Danny? <laughs> no, there's no month after Danny. I know. That was, well, this is, oh, this I was all, just doing a little bit. How dumb I was, am I? I was trying to show no. people I'm but really how, stupid. But how dumb am I that I actually said, no, 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 Danny's not a month. Unless it was fucking rock a liver. month of Danny. No. Sam Timber? No. That's not quite it. Than? No. Than Vember? That doesn't work. <laughs> Than January. Than how's uh, mother? Oh, look at him. He's all mad at me. I didn't say anything. I just said oh, after a month. Why are you sitting down all pissed off? No, because I know where this is leading. <laughs> where is it leading? I didn't say your name. Wow. Why are you? You could have no, just. Because thou I protesteth too much. No, I've been approached about this before. Oh, you have? It's bullshit. Ooh. Okay. Let yeah, me hear I it. Had nothing to do with anything here. I'm I'm completely out of this. Grab one. that. <laughs> <laughs> There's another sound bite. I have nothing to do with anything here. I'm completely out of this one. What's happening? What's happening, Eric? No. I just hear rumors. What do you know? I don't know any of this. I hear like that perhaps there was some kind of uh, thing that happened in the office on the couch. No, never, ever. Okay. I. That, no, I take I'm a lot of you... shit here, but that's. Wrong. You didn't I had actually to do fuck it. on the couch, did you? Nothing of the sort. You didn't here. get your cock sucked and balls licked on the no. couch, did you? Nothing. Did you get happen. your ass eaten on that couch? No. Didn't happen. No. It never happened. Nor would it happen. It was on a rug. It's, no. Yeah. Nothing here. <laughs> so where? Did oh, that, I know what he did. Where did he got that fucked come in the from? ass with a strap on with his face in Ope's chair. <laughs> he just wanted, to, just wanted to smell the boss's bottom. I, where did uh, that one come I from? I completely believe E Rock. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the, the the rumor starter? Yeah. Started it? That's who... That's E-Rock. When I was hey, E-Rock. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> E-Rock. At this point, does anyone believe a rumor he starts? Well, apparently. So, I wasn't... I, I don't think, I don't, I I think Anthony... Say, I don't, this is what happened. 
I said I heard tell. What did you hear? Mm -hmm. And I, I want to make it perfectly clear because we do fuck around with E-Rock a lot. I could tell by looking at his face this isn't real. He's definitely caught. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I heard... Uh, that uh, you had had some type of uh, sexual uh, contact, yeah, uh, with some guy on um, the couch, uh, with a girl on on the couch in the office. Never. What did you hear that he did? I didn't. I didn't get into details. I just heard that Iraq was fucking in the office. I would absolutely. I would fuck. I would bend somebody over this console oh, and yeah. stick my dick in them in oh. a second. In him. <laughs> I would, oh, um. Yeah, dick in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so no one else is coming here like Travis or Dan well, to back that up or just prove yeah. it or anything. I have no proof. Ah, okay. But you heard. Oh, there's, I, there's I, a but, though. Okay, Dan, what? I, what, I, what? I did hear this rumor. Yeah. And when this rumor came out, we suddenly had to have a meeting about coming into the facility after hours and how we were not allowed to do that. Okay. Oh. So somebody did believe this uh, to right. such an extent to make an official corporate hey, meeting. Hey, diplomat, let the mercenary take the mic. <laughs> yeah, hey, go for it. <laughs> well, no, Danny? Just, there, was, there was a meeting regarding uh, being here after hours, uh, so, so much to the point that we needed to clear any kind of after hours activities with Poe. Mm -hmm. Ah. Poe? Because, yeah, because I want to fuck. Because yeah. he <laughs> gets first dibs. <laughs> he gets first dibs. Why? By the time the camera picked him up, he'd be finished. So. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Can we rename the company FH <laughs> instead of XM? <laughs> FH. <laughs> Again, you know, uh, there's no probably hard proof anymore, but there, there used to be those little two security right, cameras. Right, security cameras. Now, I heard that there was some tape of security cameras wow. that 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 had on it now now uh iraq you're gonna get very angry mm -hmm. i heard you fucked right there on the console that opie works at on a daily basis and it was caught on the video camera yeah because i'm that stupid to risk my job doing that i well I'm all right so he admits it yeah. <laughs> no no you gotta you would have got a raise I just, I, I'm just saying what I heard. I'm not here. I don't know. And you telling me is just as good as other uh, rumors. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. and, and to tell you the truth, I don't even remember who told me the rumor. And it's before the engagement, so there's nothing to worry about. There is a time. Oh, yeah, because it, no, it was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not I recent. heard this I heard this so long ago that I forgot about and it. And I absolutely believe you, Rock. I don't care what those security cameras show. Who cares? The cameras lie. Yeah, never. There, there's. What if I were to tell you mm -hmm. that there is video, mm -hmm. <laughs> not was, is video of you doing that right there? <laughs> I'd love to see it because it's Would not you? true. Okay, all right. I'm just saying. That's all. I try the same. <laughs> your arms, your eyes are kind of darting. No, because it's You're not true at all. It isn't. No. He's protesting. A Could something too hard. have been done that might have looked? Like that on video. That might have believe, looked. No, I don't believe so. Well, did you ever have I a girl so. in the studio where you and her were on a camera at any time doing anything? It's like here's where Opie sits. Here's where the, you know, like a little tour. Possible. Yeah, it could have happened. All right. Could could she have maybe bent over to look at that and you went to show her? Uh, how to use a button. <laughs> no. Okay, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> but but she 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 might have at least sat where Opus sitting on the uh, the old console, not this one. And just peeked around, right? Yeah, don't worry, Ope. You could eat your grapefruit right there and not worry. <laughs> well, I know it's salty yeah. taste on it. <laughs> what are you getting at? I'm not getting at anything. I'm just trying to dig deep. So you're saying that you could have had a girl in the studio who could have sat on the console or whatever, bent over, but not sexually. No, I don't think sat on the console at all. Sat in the chair, though. Okay. In uh, the boss's chair. Honestly, that could have been possible. Yeah. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. Like, the, And it was picked up on cameras. That's all. But what you were saying before is, no, absolutely, is absolutely not, not true. true. All right. I will take your word 100%. You don't need to watch that video again, right? Check I it won't. out. Don't need to watch it. Oh, my God. Um, I don't even know where it is. It's somewhere in a folder. Maury has a blind guy on 
who just found out his wife is having an affair with another woman. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. The guy is like, let me at her. Oh. He's, go- he's walking on stage with his cane. He's oh, blind. He can certainly no. find the refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah, really. Oh, fat boy. <laughs> can someone put that light down? It's light in my face. Just straight down, please. Um... He should eat carrots. They're good for your eyes. <laughs> Obviously, he's not. <laughs> What's up with the I don't believe so, though? That was Wait, wait. That's the... I, wait, there's a fatty and, and the fatty blind guy. And then there's a skinny chick. Oh, mm. look at him. Walk <laughs> off. <laughs> oh my Holy God. shit. He got so pissed he went to walk off stage and walked right into the couch. Oh, it's so great. It should have been bear I was listening to you. Mm-hmm. And, and now I'm, t- I'm completely convinced. There's no problem. So, like, how, how long would she have been in the studio for, do you think? I, I honestly, I have no idea. Just guess. On, on something I know nothing... No, I'm not giving that drop out. On something I don't know... <laughs> Anything about? <laughs> yeah, just say it. They're not going to care. I'm not going to make a drop out is of it. Is there something no. to this, E-Rock? No, there's not. I just... I'm I know pissed this is... because this has been approached to me a long time ago. Yeah, this room has been around for a long time. And... Just figured it was time, you know, clear the air. That's, That's all. Right. That's, That's all. all showing a girl. There's not all showing a girl in the studio. No, there was one person who was dead set that this happened, mm-hmm. and I kept trying to explain to him that this didn't happen. Well, who was dead set that it happened? Why is He's it a secret? no longer? Oh, okay. Here. Ah, dude, dude. Okay, cool. You know. So, um, of course, I wasn't allowed to argue about it or defend myself on it. I just was being yelled at, and it was supposed to be, well, that's it, and then it was supposed to be let go. Right. Why was he so certain? Who knows? He makes shit up all the time. <laughs> you know, and I tried to, I said, well, tell me some details about this. Show me what happened. No, there was nothing to show. There was no other details other. This is what I was told, so this is what you did. You know, Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, you're a, you're a console. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, allegedly. Uh, highlight scroll, highlight click, click, yeah, highlight, highlight click. click. Oh, scratch. <laughs> 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 Earl. Okay, I, I, do, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. No, but I, I just want to clear this. that. I've never heard that, actually. I never heard that. You rocked I've been to a lot I, of stuff that I maybe screw up or say or whatever. Yeah. But Only when one. it's not true, what? 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 Only when it's uh, proof is staring at you in the face, do you ever admit you're wrong? But <laughs> oh, let's just please. get that out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let me hang myself without, the, without evidence on it. Ooh, Ooh, good point. Right. All right, uh, you're on. If I were in your position, I would also continue to lie until proof was pro- you know, provided. So what are you saying? That he's lying? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Wait, do you think this is true? No. Well, the source is a problem with this one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so it, it's, imp- it, it's tough to say for sure. So how come you think he's lying? It's more fun. <laughs> how's, <laughs> how's mother? Oh, I hope dead. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Iraq fan is pretty much saying that he knows that this is true, too. Yeah, well, he's good at, uh, you know, keep dumping fuel on the fire for the sake of a bit, so. Oh, mm. all right. I like that. No cliches. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's not true. No, not at all. Okay. All right. He cleared the air. Sure did. That, hey, I'm, I'm glad. I didn't even know about that this That was one. been going on for a long time, that one. <gasps> we'll address others in the future. You address, you get that file still? <laughs> I'd like, you know, we should Why do- are you sweating? I'm not. I don't mean sweating like you're actually sweating, but you're like kind of sweating. Put your hands straight out. It's a tough month. Put your hands straight out. No, I mean like this. Why is it a tough month? One hand. Shake it a little. Yeah, you shake it a Why little. Why is it a tough month? It's Iraq. To- All the concert pigs are like killing our phone lines every day, so it makes it tougher for some of these people to get in with their uh, wake up uh, your spouse ideas. So it's kind of frustrating, but we got one so far today. And uh, the lady cursed, so we kind of cleaned it up so yeah. so you could hear what happened. Uh, hopefully, the, hopefully this uh, explains what what was going on. I think it's a shorter version. Three, two, oh, it one. Is. Wow, it's that short? Jeez. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What am I going to do with that? Microphone, Eric. What am I going to do with that? I asked him to shorten the clip. I didn't realize he shortened it that much. I, I, there's no setup. Oh, oh boy! Man, I don't want to play the long version. Oh, I, oh no! Now, how about to. they? How about they just reshort and we play the next version? All don't right, we? we'll do that. How about that, Eric? Well, I, Eric, <laughs> please, E Rock, please. 
We're under the gun. We're feeling a lot of stress and pressure these days. You gotta f and listen to me. I did listen. No, you told, didn't. Yes, what, I did. And I what did I say? What did I say? You said I you said want, you didn't want I the said, whole setup. You no. wanted a shortened version of the phone call. I said. Oh. So the shortened version is seven seconds. That's what he handed to me, and no, I handed it right no, to you. No, no, Iraq. I'm going to start taping my conversations off air because, uh, trust me, I'm Rain Man when it comes to this crap. It's one of my problems. I said, take the call, clean it up a little bit, shorten it, and then bleep out the curse. That's exactly mm -hmm. what I said, and I guarantee people in this room will back me up. So what I got now is the really long original call and the short call, which is seven seconds. That doesn't explain anything. How long is the original call? It's over two minutes. Boy, that's a shortening. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you tell someone to shorten it, they don't mess around. Three, two, one, clip. Done. Um, I, I said concert pig again? Holy crap. Why Why do I keep saying concert pig? Because a lot of Because uh, he rocks got you all distracted right. with his incompetence. I never got over singing. <laughs> I never. Oh, oh, Eric's upset. Eric, what? The microphone. You actually had a mic. This was out of my control. Oh. I explained it a oh, while Jesus. ago when the call originally happened Crazy. that we needed this per Opie's instruction. Listen, listen to him. Tim didn't do it. Don't say, just per, now. don't say per, by the way. He's going crazy. He rocks. But do you understand if I tell you that it is your responsibility? I don't care who you have uh, do it. When it's handed back to me, I assume that it was done correctly. When you delegate responsibility, you are the one responsible right. for who you delegated it to and the final product that I comes back to you. I don't even know who Tim you. is. Who? Exactly. Tim, exactly. He's the Boo Radley of K-Rock. <laughs> just a big lummox. Stands there. So now we got to, you know, just... All right, listen. Now I'm saying it on air. Oh. Take the original clip. I'm sorry. Shorten it up so it's not like two minutes long. Uh, Tim's in the studio now. Oh, boy. Tim. Oh boy. He said, give me a, the whole call and give me a short version of it. He didn't say clean it up and, and make it. I thought you just wanted the, the curse go. part. There you go. Yes, I did say go. that to you because when I asked you originally there in the IM here about mm -hmm. it, and then I went back to the studio and asked you, you said, oh, no, That's I didn't me. pull it. And I said, it's got to be Spirit. a shortened version of the call, and right. it has to be beeped because mm -hmm. there's a curse in it. Right. And you said, okay, and then I came back in here, and then you handed me the disc. Stop. And I did exactly what you asked. Who cares? <laughs> What in? I said, shut up. Who cares? I think I'll, we have, I'll, go, I'll go fix it now. I think what we have here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you didn't communicate <laughs> what I communicated to you, Iraq. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, does Iraq feel that he didn't get enough information as to how short you, you wanted it? Tie me a sheep shank. You didn't tell me how short you wanted it. Yes, is that the problem, Eric? You felt like you weren't given enough uh, information? No. Microphone. Can, we can't, so what's people. the problem, Iraq? No. Why do you feel like you're being uh, persecuted Persecuted here um, unjustly? Comment, Iraq? Comment. I, I don't know how. Well, shorten the call down and make sure it's clean means seven seconds of the call. I understand not the whole full thing, but have a little setup before the actual phone call. I didn't do the edit, but I had to delegate it, so I guess it is my responsibility that the call was edited wrong. Did you then listen to it beforehand? No, because he walked in and... Oh, it. see? So it went from his hands to right into the machine for on the air. Yeah. See, is that good? No. In the long run? Basically, the general... <laughs> Gave the captain an order. The captain gave it to a private, and now the captain wants to back out and say to the general, it's "Hey, the private's the fault." Private. But now someone's saying it's my right. responsibility because I trusted Iraq, and I guess that person is uh, is, is is accurate. Wow. Now I look like a dummy because you didn't do it right. Now another demerit. So you blame you blame Tim. I blame you. I can directly point out how you cost us Detroit. Crap flows down, my friend. Let's go to Beatrice. <laughs> Beatrice, hate, you listen. They hate sloppy radio in Detroit. Be hey, all right. Um, e Rock. E Rock. Uh, no, w N G X. Oh. G N X. G N X with E Rock. How long? E Rock Tober. How long? Ago? Um, this would be four, a little over four years ago. Okay. All right, here we go. Hey, Sunday nights, G N X is the place to be. Violent Femmes, psychedelic. Oh, boy. Why is Sunday nights the place to be? That's what the liner notes said, and that's what I was I had to read. It was G a syndicate <sighs> program that we had to promote. If GNX is the place to be, why were you there? <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
who's, who saw that coming except everyone? <laughs> hey, Sunday nights, GNX is the place to be. Violent. No, dance, that's I see what he's doing. He's just using Damone's rules. Hey, GNX, <laughs> tell her that's the place to be. Isn't this great? Pretty <laughs> assistant to the assistant programmer. <laughs> On GNX. <laughs> hey, Rock, would you get that out of the hamper? <laughs> I think we did a great service today. People are just talking about uh, Street View like crazy. Rich from Manhattan. Uh, street View with woman's thong while getting into car. Okay. Find that one for us. Has, Throw it on that other computer. All right, here we go. It's perfect because all he drinks is iced tea. Iced tea. It's all stupid has. Come to help with your math homework on such a hot day. <laughs> 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 Hey, Sunday nights, GNX is the place to be. Violent Femmes, Psychedelic Furs, Susie and the Banshees, Haircut 100, B-52s, Michael Penn, Joe Boxers, and plenty, plenty more. Origin Ew. And plenty, plenty, plenty more. Not, it's, and plenty, plenty more. You know what? I blame the radio station. Oh. I, I, I understand, E. I've been there. You know what your times. problem was? You were you were saying plenty, plenty more, but you were eating dinty, dinty more. <laughs> Good and plenty, plenty more. <laughs> I could feel for the, I could feel for the E today. I had a I had to read these dumb oh, oh. liners. Yeah, and if uh, if you but, but I blame the station because they're promoting JoJo Boxer. No, it's the show that this is the music that plays on this syndicated show that we're paying for on Sunday nights. Right. Wait, it was paid programming. Yeah, but they, you were you were on a paid program. <laughs> No, no, no. I, he I was, was promoting oh. the, the oh, syndicated okay. uh, uh, show that comes on Sunday nights, and they play a lot of alternative crap. But they're promoting JoJo Boxer. It, it was a, an eighty uh, syndicated eighty show by Nina Blackwood. Ugh. Oh boy. I loved her being beaten to death in Vice Squad. It was <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> some kind of barter trade thing that they got programming for advertising. The but, problem, the problem, Eric, is not that you said that. It was that you said and plenty, 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 more. plenty more. With the extreme radio voice, dude. Yes. Wow. Plenty, plenty more. That would be a uh, radio crutch. You know, words like, I don't know, heavy lifting is a radio uh, crutch. Well, Linger longer plenty. one. Well, it's it, how he, you just enunciated, like Steve. Yes. There plenty, plenty more. I'm so sorry. Like you, Pat Cooper was on XM yesterday. He said dignity. But the way he said dignity, and I looked at each other a couple of times, it was so, yeah. it was like it was wrong. Dignity. Dignity. Right. Dignity. Plenty, plenty more. Well, you know, he, got a, he had to sell it, man, because like the music, the bands he listed wasn't good enough. He had to make sure they all knew oh, plenty, yeah. plenty more. You haven't heard the the last of this. <laughs> the, uh, the PD would... For all the jocks, would call you before your 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 break yeah. to coach you on how to say it, and then he would call you and critique you after you just did it. Ah, well, you probably needed that. Can we please hear that again? Just a plenty, yeah. yes. plenty. Because the, there's not there's not just more. There's plenty, plenty more. Iraq, sorry to do this. But I weigh a couple of hundred pounds, but don't worry. Soon there'll be plenty, <laughs> plenty, plenty more. more. How many M and M's would you like? Plenty, plenty more. <laughs> Don from PA. Uh, been listening for a year. Finally went on an own A site. Checked out pics. Seen E Rock. Holy ass, that boy oozes disappointment. Oh no, <laughs> it's not true at all. He is disappointment. <laughs> he's ca he's a carrier of disappointment. All right, here we go. And the Banshees, Haircut 100, B-52s, Michael Penn, Joe Boxers, and plenty, plenty more. Original MTV VJ Nina Blackwood takes you through three hours of the New Wave Nation every Sunday night from 9 to midnight on 99.7 GNX. Hey, GNX. Yeah, hey there. Uh, can you, like, play Pride by U2? I can, like, do that for you. Thanks. What's your, like, name? This is Brian. Brian, where are you, like, calling from? Uh, in my car. I'm out oh, delivering pizzas. Yeah, oh, what pizzas? Papa John. My favorite. <laughs> 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 E-Rock, you never ever disappoint. This of guy, course. This guy said you ooze disappointment. On the contrary, my friend. This guy never you disappoints. <laughs> Papa John's my favorite. <laughs> Could have been anything. Yep. And every week that guy <laughs> dropped off free food. Of course he did. Yeah. Cause yeah. They, they didn't have a Tom at that radio station watching every plug that's made on the <laughs> freaking show. Oh, man. <laughs> Yes. It's your favorite, huh? Not anymore. But pizza. What's your favorite mm. now, sweetie? Well, in Florida, there's no Who's a big boy? Who's a big boy? I am. <laughs> <laughs>
Brian. What's your like name? This is Brian. Brian, where are you like calling from? Uh, in my car, I'm out delivering pizzas. Oh, what pizzas? Papa John's. My favorite. I love the garlic butter sauce. Well, next time you're in the area, make sure you stop <laughs> by. All right. Okay, we'll do. Thanks. Okay, man. Bye. Bye. Baseball. Oh. I hate you're talking over the song. You had to. Why? Your phone calls were pre-recorded. I know, I know but why? Well, Could, yeah, you, you know, you got like a 25. <sighs> look, I, I, yeah, this is what you do. 25 second intro to a song. You edit your uh, <sighs> phone call you just took uh, to 25 seconds. But, and then you look like Houdini because all of a sudden Pride's playing and, and the yeah. guy's requesting it at the yeah. same time. Like, it's amazing. How did, how did that happen? Know? How did he know? I hate when they talk oh, over songs. Of course. What are you doing? Garlic butter sauce. Oh, you are awful. Oh, uh, I like the fat, fatty, fat, fat sauce. <laughs> I use it as sexual lubricant. <laughs> the garlic butter. Sauce. Oh, pizza garlic butter sauce. Oh my. And those God. um those uh peppers that they come with. Well, yes. What the yellow ones? No, the the green. They're Oof, the little um yeah, jalapenos yeah. or I hate to smell it at his sheets at three in the morning. Just <laughs> farts and acid reflex burps. <laughs> acid reflex. That's I really okay. I we know what you mean it in my face. Hey, let's say hi. Talk to now, candy everybody wants. But with childhood obesity rates on the rise, how can parents Steve, make sure their kids don't overdo it? I know for Halloween that you should throw little gym memberships into their bags. Well, yeah, they'll love it. You throw a, a, In their bags, they open their bag, you throw a set of parents that knows how to control <laughs> their little fat pig child's eating habits. <laughs> Who cares? A bottled water for the kids? You know what? Let the kids have their stupid candy on Halloween. Yeah. yeah. Life's tough. Give them their day to just eat as much effing candy as they want. Worry about their health issues uh, uh, another day. Yeah, but then you might end up like the Nagels. Huh? Having to worry about uh, their boy. Did you stuff the candy in your little fat face? Yeah, he, would, he would store it in his neck pouch <laughs> for winter. <laughs> when did we start talking about enabling? We're talking about... <laughs> <laughs> he rock. did you just like, as you're trick-or-treating, you went home with no candy in the bag, just empty wrappers because you were just shoving candy in your face? Okay, hey, No? Okay. No. Every November first, he would just wake up with a bellyache and the runs, <laughs> just firing out candy corn like a machine gun. <laughs> and he would actually just, he would eat so fast he would like eat a bunch of wrappers too, not knowing. His, he'd probably come home from Halloween with his little hands all chocolatey, and he goes, "I ate all my candy," and he was sixteen. You know, I just got a bed retard. <laughs> Swallowing your gum. Nah. And having problems as it's trying to exit. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of Halloween candy I could eat. Why? Why? I because I can't eat chocolate and caramel and stuff. Why? You're that fat and you can't eat chocolate? No, I I, I don't like it. It doesn't agree with me at all. What are you lactose intolerant? No, I just I never liked chocolate or caramel or marshmallows things like yeah, that. What a communist. What's, What's your favorite candy? You? Yeah, what is your favorite candy? What do you fatten up on? Probably like Starburst. <clears throat> ah, Starburst, Starburst fruit shoes. Stink. I know. Compared the, to chocolate. Starburst, one Starburst is good. Anything after one, it just makes you feel like you're going to go into a diabetic coma. <laughs> my, my sister is uh, married to Mike, right? Mike's uh, side of the family love all the sweet candy. Like that, just all that awful, like, like green apples. Like when you were a kid, yeah. Just that, all that stuff I would just throw away. Like, I don't want any of this crap. Yeah. And hates chocolate. And our family just loves yeah. chocolate and hates all that. Like that that's that over the top sweet and sour stuff. Oh, E Rock. Yeah, never a big fan of the chocolate stuff. What else did you like? Those those long papers with the little dot candies on it? <laughs> no, those were bad. He probably liked that and he liked taffy. And the, what are those sugar daddies? Those awful Oh, oh sugar oh, daddy. Did no. you eat Mary Jane's? No, those awful peanut butter. Why are they still pull making your Mary fillings Jane's. out? No one likes I don't know them. who the hell makes those. The public those. has spoken. Yeah, it's Mary. time to retire Mary Jane's. Yes, like. and uh, don't forget about uh, Iraq's costume. He was a GoBot. <laughs> we are looking at a picture of him in a GoBot costume. Ew, that, yeah. Why? Why would a GoBot carry a pumpkin as a uh, to to carry your little treats in? Why not make it GoBot centric? I don't know. I guess whatever was uh, cheapest. <laughs> yeah. You and are you wearing... By the quality costume. Though. Yeah, the costume is... What is it, paper? It, it, it's like the same material you make those cheap uh, tablecloths out of. <laughs> <laughs> it came in a box for like he, five bucks. At yeah. Ones. 
Oh, how old are you? Great. That was a little um, I, I'm under ten, so probably like seven or eight in that in that yeah. photo. Well, E Rock's uh, Halloween costume uh, when he was younger will be up on O and A. Oh, of course. Later today. Uh, did we get the website up? What E Rock? What are we doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to get the site. Why? You just type uh, in a www and then the site name. Oh boy, E Rock wasn't listening. Oh, E Rock. Where were you? L- a little... We're having a printer problem. I was going to get something, and I came running back. We're in. on the air, Eric. Yeah, I, I keep telling you, when we're on the air, you might want to sit. He's running out for weird things. What's the matter? <laughs> the decorations are falling off the door. What? I think E Rock is an addict. Addict. No, attic is more accurate. He's just a vacant space at the top of the home. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's running out to, like, uh, indulge. He is. He's in something. Su- but he has suppositories. <laughs> can't stop eating them. It's probably some real bizarre thing. He just can't help himself. <laughs> if you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. All right. If you need help. Uh, oh, that's right. the sound in his head. <laughs> 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 Do we have the, the tips, the helpful tips? Do you know which site it was? WSBT? E Rock? No. Uh, yeah, it's. Um, e Rock, you have officially stopped the show. I'm waiting for the link. Yeah, E Rock, where are you? <laughs> He's panicking. I'm, I'm like, the link's coming. He's typing in every website. He started with AAA.com. <laughs> I was just hoping to land on it. <laughs> Stuff to ABC Carpets. Uh, <laughs> let's go here. No, I wanted the helpful. There you I go. I don't know the website. I'm what? trying to find. Why don't you know the website? Because I was running. We just played the I bit. Didn't know the website. I'm sorry, but we needed the bit. That that's what the we needed the thing. Well, someone could tell me the website, and I'd, I'd load it up. I think it was WSPT.com. Why don't you send one of these these youngsters out to do the printer stuff? You don't you're not on printer duty when you're on the radio. The helpful, uh, the additional hip tips for Halloween. And we could also go to Snoops.com because they'll talk. They talk about all that uh, Halloween candy scare crap. Uh, Snoops. Yeah. S- 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 oh, did I say Snoops? Yeah, yeah. It's I'm a, sorry, S- Snoops. Yeah, that site is great. Snoops dispels I'm sorry. all the rumors. You know what? I'm a uh, Snoops is actually a site my ex girlfriend set up, and she's <laughs> peeking through my hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> do you have your computer booby trapped at this point? Yeah, all the files are named differently. Like, are they? Yeah, the ones that are named, like, I, I, I have one file called Girls I'm Cheating With. They'll never open that. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually all my writings. <laughs> nah, this is, what are they going to find? Just porn on my computer? Who cares? You have everything uh, locked up? Do you have, like, uh, locks? Like, y- you have no. to put in a code before you open up your um, computer? Uh, I, I have a password protect just when it goes off, just in case I ever leave it somewhere. But no, you mean like File Vault on Mac? No, File Vault is like this weird thing where like you can lock down your computer, but if you if you forget the password, there is no way to get in. Like you will lose everything. Yeah. So I'm like, why? What do I have on there? I don't. I don't. I don't have anything illegal. I have some stupid porn. If you, all right, who doesn't like gag factor stuff? You're right. Go to. <laughs> I like to see a gal tear up. I'm not lying. Right ah! You know, not in pain. She's enjoying it. <laughs> but I mean, nothing. There's nothing. What are they gonna find? There's, the, you know, there's nothing to find. It, my stupid photo with, with, with David Keith. Oh, 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 really? Is that it, really, Eric? Eric lied. Oh my God. E Rock lied. We're Uh-oh, getting reports that E Rock lied. Um, about what he was doing. Pat, what's going on, please? Pat? Not really sure what happened. But I just uh, was told to put Eric's milk back a minute ago. Oh. Uh-oh, Iraq. What, what do you mean? Iraq, fight back. What, what, what happened Okay. Here? You want to see back. what I Let's did? Go. I'll show you what I did. <laughs> Sam with the camera right yeah, in Iraq's like... face. <laughs> All right. Make me proud today. Fight back for a while. trying to think ahead. You're talking about Halloween stuff. We have a Halloween song. I didn't know if the lyrics were appropriate, so I've been asking... The interns through the IM here. Can someone print these lyrics out so we could give them to Tom to see if it's okay so we'd have it ready ahead of time? Well, nobody was responding, and I knew we were doing the Halloween thing, so I ran in there to check the printer. He was printing this out, and I had the mail. I was like, put this back, give me that, and then take this to Tom. Okay, came running back in here. Jesus Christ, that sounded like the scene from Goodfellas with the helicopters. No kidding, man. I know. (laughs) What are you... (laughs) But someone's saying you... uh... Yeah, they left the the We're one other milk. thing that I did with that. Oh no, that's all he did. The rest of the did you the pour rest yourself of the stuff some cocoa that I puffs? Did. Cocoa puffs. I don't have. Cocoa what puffs. kind of cereal were you having today? Cheerios. Yeah. Oh, Cheerios. Aww. 
With berries. That's what everyone in this room would do if you died. <laughs> <laughs> that was really mean. I didn't mean it either. I really love Eric. I, 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 Cheerio kind of sounded like cheer. Dude, you picked the most unhealthy Cheerios they make. <laughs> really? That's why it has the American uh, Heart Association, may lower cholesterol and heart disease? It has a heart with like a circle and like a red line through it. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, that's a clogged heart. Very good. Hey, uh, Jimmy's just laughing. Well, well, go ahead, Jimmy. Go. I'll, 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 I'll wait. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. It says, it's Berry Burst Cheerios. It's like, how badly do you need t good taste? What's wrong with it? Nothing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, your berries just burst. Oh. 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 Sorry. E, are you gonna take that? E. E. E to the R. E to the rock. There's nothing I can do to him. Oh, I don't have a five. Oh well. That's sad. Uh. Uh, uh, e Rock, I know you love Pal Talk, but you gotta thank you. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's right in the middle of reading something. <laughs> and I see a naked girl. Thanks. I love naked women, but you know, we're trying to actually do a job right this second. Uh, it's a so <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> God damn, E Rock. E Rock, this is what I tell you. You make it so easy at times. Why at that moment did you have to go to Pal Talk? I zoned you can't hear you. He he's zoned out. Microphone. Zoned out. That's good. That's what Tom wants to hear down the hall, that he's paying someone to zone out. I just zoned out. Um, oh. Uh, okay. Pat? Yeah, hey, guys. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, supposed to be the 10th caller once e -Rock brings nothing to the table. <laughs> See, no. It was a sound effect of e -Rock bringing saying, I bring nothing to the table. Uh, you don't win if he's actually bringing nothing to the table. <laughs> you guys got to clear that up for me. I didn't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we probably should have made that. Uh, <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, guys. I, oh, I love our listeners that are ball buckets.